Uh, yeah, you want me to talk to you or the camera? Or... Yeah, I know the camera. Okay, uh, well, basically, I've been brought on to... <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm gonna live. Let's do this. I die. A live action trailer is a big risk. It can be tempting to bring your game world into ours, but it can also make that digital world seem artificial by comparison. All of the elements of live action need to be excellent if you want to actually move people. The writing, acting, costumes, and animation all have to be on the same level, or there's no point in pretending. You might as well just show us the actual game. These 10 trailers made it clear why they had to use real flesh and blood actors and paint and glue practical effects. For a moment, these games all became real, or really entertaining, and we'll never forget them. Hold no value here. With its first subject suspended underwater, this trailer for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag begins with an otherworldly feel, leaving you to question what's going on. As the camera pulls back, it smoothly transitions from the hold to the deck to the mast, and each newly revealed scene is packed with detail. We see the only chance of escape from rising waters stamped out by men above, and a hopeless soldier turning the gun from his opponents to himself. And yet, in spite of the chaos, the rising camera, vocals, and calm narration present this pirate takeover as a moment of uplifting, coordinated beauty. To live, not just exist. So fired up, let's do this! Okay, game on. Watch and learn. Real humans can be awkward, cheesy, or just not match the vibe of your game. Modern Warfare 3's The Vet and The Noob trailer wisely utilized two very talented and probably very expensive actors. Instead of stressing the game's plot that nobody cares about, the trailer tells the story of Sam Worthington, a veteran prestige soldier looking after us, the gentle beginner, the noob, the Jonah Hill. There you get the noob! After this trailer's journey, we all become players so cool we can put on a pair of shades while patronizing Dwight Howard. It's fun, it's harmless, and four years later, it makes us still want to play Modern Warfare 3. Go get him, noob. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, rated M for Mature. A lot of Need for Speed trailers focus on the intensity of dangerous driving, or the importance of some unnecessarily heavy storyline. A live action spot for the 2012 return of Most Wanted focuses on the fun, taking a collection of cars from the game's livery and sending them on a chase blasting through intersections and sliding around city corners. This kind of playfulness feels like a natural fit for the franchise, and we wish more entries and their advertising would remind us of how amusing the world of Need for Speed can be. Need for Speed Most Wanted. One of the deep subgenres of trailer types, the 90s marketing parody has been done by Far Cry and Guild Wars, but the reveal of Strafe is the best at capturing the adrenaline-fueled nightmare of that decade's offensive yet revolutionary games. Few trailers have the guts. This kind of carnage is not for the faint of heart, but it hits its mark with more than just shock value, playing on multiple levels with a smart and dark script about brotherhood, video game violence, and the general absurdity with pretending to actually play a video game in a live action commercial. It also makes the game look great. It is a little bit of everything. How could you? He was just a boy.
promoting the idea that there's a soldier in all of us, Call of Duty found the perfect balance of military intensity and multiplayer fun, and this trailer represents why it's a blast to be a fan of this franchise. Seeing celebrities playing the blockbuster series is commonplace now across multiple mediums, but this ragtag group of soldiers amuses us the most. Instead of appealing to those who play COD religiously, it seems aimed at anyone who might want to pick the game up for the first time and try for their very first kill streak, emphasizing that there are no barriers to entry and no end to the weirdos you can meet online. Call of Duty Black Ops, rated M for Mature. Before ODST came out, there were plenty of Halo fans that had no idea what those four letters meant. Even saying Orbital Drop Shock Troopers doesn't really explain their legacy. More impactful for us than seeing Spartans fight impossible battles or rows of warthogs on the assembly line is this brief glimpse at generations of military life through the eyes of men and women like the ones we've been fighting beside the entire franchise. It veers towards being overly dramatic and nearly slips off the cliff at times, but it's just succinct and serious enough to tell us more about the ODST than any voiceover script ever could. Well, now it's a party. Music? Hmm, something classical. Venus? Venus, baby! Venus! <laughs> this spot seems to have followed a checklist of items that make a good video game trailer, from a showcase of weapons, armor, and guardian abilities, down to the enemies and environments you can encounter. But this trailer touches on something that a gameplay trailer just can't. The feeling of mopping up hostile aliens across a solar system with some of your best buds on your fire team. What's most impressive is, even after spending a couple hundred hours in this game, this romp to the immigrant song still brings as much hype as day one, and lines up with many of our best Destiny moments. So many live-action trailers take the core concept of a game and have people act it out, usually poorly. The Halo 3 Believe ad does something different. Without a single word, an immaculately detailed diorama brings us into the war between the Covenant and the UNSC in a way no ad has done before, and no video has come close to since. The fly-through doesn't focus on Master Chief or provide specific context for its massive battle. Instead, it emphasizes the horror of the average soldier allowing us to see the war through their eyes. Live action Sleeping Dogs trailer is a must watch for fans of Hong Kong action films like Hard Boiled, Infernal Affairs, and Drug War. The opening shots of the neon lit city accurately portray the tone of the playable Hong Kong sandbox. Additionally, the kitchen fight is a beautifully choreographed brawl complete with the game's improvisational area finishers. Meat cleavers, broken bottles, and hooks are viciously used in a ballet of death that would make John Woo proud. By the end of the trailer, we realize that lead character Wei will do anything to infiltrate the Hong Kong triads as an undercover agent, an important theme in the core game. Yes, sir. Don't worry. Now they trust him. He's in.
With many trailers trying to wow with special effects and costumes that their budgets can't live up to, Metro Last Light justifies the use of live action by focusing on the humanity of this origin story as people from all walks of life run for shelter. It doesn't shy away from using Russian, but transcends language barriers with genuine expressions of panic, grief, and tension. The desperation of the crowd stands in stark contrast to the soldiers' cold but necessary efficiency. Yet they pause long enough to accept one last refugee who could determine the future for all who survive. It would only be as effective as it is with live actors, showing all other live action trailers why you take the time to achieve this level of believability. This week, Hogger is his predictably disruptive self, making life difficult for his party on tabletop adventures. And we suit up for next month's trip to Gotham City with the pre-E3 look at Batman Arkham Knight on our second channel, GT Reviews. We'll see you next Friday for another GT Countdown.